All right, everyone, welcome back to another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video with Fat Phil. And I do apologize if my voice sounds a little bit off or if I'm sniffling. Uh, thank, thankfully, I am going to survive. Unfortunately, um, this kind of comes with having two little girls. Like, you just get sick every once in a while. And you know it's probably from, like, daycare being around other kids. But it is what it is, right? But um, with that out of the way, I want to do a video and talk about assault battles. And... I'm not going to cover every single assault battle and the strategy to beat them. There's plenty of guides out there on how to do that. Um, and I just don't think it's necessary for me to do some of them. Some of the other ones I never want to do again in my life. <coughs> Inquisitors. <coughs> um, so anyway, let's talk about assault battles. But I want to give a huge shout out to my channel members. As always, you all are fantastic. Thank you so much for your continued support of this channel. If anybody else is interested in joining channel memberships, Link in the description down below. Otherwise, subscribing, that's free, and it helps this channel so much. So just give the video a thumbs up for that like, leave a comment, and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. We want to hit 10,000 subscribers. That would just be, that'd put me over the moon. So let's keep on going. All right. So we'll talk about, we have the Fanatical Devotion Assault Battle right now, and I have not claimed my rewards yet. So we'll talk about the rewards. We'll kind of talk about some of the other things you can do in Assault Battle. So just to kind of get through a few things first, right? So, one of the things you want to keep in mind, your return on investment for assault battles is years. The, they're not going to give you that return on investment right away. They're not something that like you build for and then you're like, wow, I've gotten all these things that, you know, this made it completely worth it for me to do this. Like, that's not the way assault battles work. It's going to take you years and years to accumulate the resources that you spent to complete that assault battle. It's just, it's the way it works. And that's okay, right? We don't, like, you don't need to get all those resources all at once. There's something that, you know, you think of them as a bonus or passive income, right? Um, you know, you think about you go to a job and they give you your starting salary, salary or your hourly wage. You're working for that. Any bonuses you get, right, overtime, whatever, right? That's bonus, right? You don't you don't consider that as like the way that I think about like a bonus that I would get is that when I'm working, I want to get that bonus, but like I can live without that bonus. I can't live without my salary. And so that's the difference, right? And I, I know some jobs are different, but the no way I normally think of a bonus is that it's part, you know, it's something extra, but it's not what necessary to survive. And that's the way that assault battles are. This is not necessary for you to be competitive in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, but it is great bonus and passive income and will make a difference in, if you have two accounts, one of them who gets assault battles and one of them who does not, the one who's getting assault battles will progress faster. But again, not necessary. So I don't want you to think you need to rush to get here because again, that return on investment is so long. I mentioned the Inquisitor Assault Battle. So the one nice thing with Assault Battles is that you can try as many times as you want. And the, the great quote here is, try, try again until lions become lambs, right? Just, it is, it will be worth it to get through it, get those rewards. It sucks in the beginning, right? But it's nice to get there once you are done. And it's, you know, again, it's free rewards, right? You know, you've built this team, take advantage of the fact that they can get it done and give you rewards back. And then lastly, like you want to think outside the box a little bit. This team right here in the Rebels plus Clones assault battle, I would remod a little bit so that way my commander Luke Skywalker was stronger than Rex because Rex does not have any survivability on his own. So I could give Rex guard, keep him alive with Chewbacca, and then use other means of keeping my commander Luke Skywalker. And this was a and I had this team set up before I had Chupio. So obviously, you know. This is an extreme example, but think outside the box a little bit. See if you can come up with some teams that will actually get you through it. And then finally, like the lower tiers are okay. So I have this bounty hunter team here because you remember there's the rebel roundup where you can use bounty hunters or imperial troopers. The lower tiers are okay. Like even if you can't get to challenge tier three, challenge tier two, still getting through those other initial tiers are so important. They're going to give you resources that you otherwise wouldn't have access to. So make sure that you're trying those lower tiers. You like... I remember the first month I had Inquisitors, I was like, oh, there's no way I can do this assault battle. And I three-starred it, right? I got some extra shard shop currency. Like, that's the kind of stuff that will just help you a little bit, right? Gives you a little bit of a boost, and it's, you know, for what, right? Like, you just may as well go try it. There's no harm in trying. So, 
let's kind of talk about the assault battles then we're going to talk about the best faction ever for assault battles and that is the empire and i know what everybody's thinking like the empire is not the best faction and you'd probably be right but for assault battles they are the most lucrative because there are three different empire assault battles right and you heard that correctly three that's because you have the inquisitors right have their own challenge imperial troopers and then you have the general empire one that you can use any empire characters with right so that's against the ewoks so if you build imperial troopers you can use them as the ewoks right against the ewoks and then they have their rebel roundup tier if you have inquisitors they can do the ewoks and they can do their stupid dumb jedi mission and then you have lord vader emperor palpatine and darth vader who are available for the empire mission right against the ewoks and they can battle the other jedi when you need to use sith or first order so right there are three just examples of teams that will give you two for ones now i personally would say that you know in you know imperial troopers are the way to go because that's easily the least amount of investing you'd need to do inquisitors much later on is when i'd worry about them imperial troopers a lot easier to get to earlier and i think in terms of overall investment a lot cheaper than what you'd be spending on inquisitors but again you know just just showing you guys that it is possible that by doing these small investments you're going to be able to get to more assault battles and then i mean emperor palpatine and darth vader can the two of them will basically carry you through at least challenge tier one if not challenge tier two of that jedi assault battle so that is you know they are really really good and then again lord vader i get it he's late game but it's worth showing so versus the empire assault battle this is the team i would recommend and again as you guys will see this is something i recommend you build anyways right that you don't want to just one of the like obviously try you know with any team possible but this team right here will get that assault battle done right that team right there they don't need crazy gear either because it's a, just a very they've got survivability they've got turn meter gains you know there's some ways to get that done um really really love these guys and that's a great one so the Jedi versus Separatists, so I mean, this is an extreme example of what it takes, but you do need Jedi Knight Luke. And that's kind of one of the unfortunate things with some of these assault battles is that certain characters are 1000% required for you to be able to get to tier three of that challenge. So that's definitely one where like, you gotta have Jedi Knight Luke or else I don't think it's possible. Maybe with Jedi Knight Cal, you could. The Knight Sisters. <laughs> I mean, this is the second stupidest assault battle hands down the second stupidest um watching darth sidious just destroy your entire team at once is ridiculous and i hate it but Marin has made it possible finally so thank you right thank you Marin. thank you capital games for giving us a way to get through that assault battle um but you know again it's there's also phoenix there too right which is an option and i'd be curious with the new rex with captain rex if that would be an option for phoenix to get through that i don't know but i know that the night sisters work this is the one assault battle that i don't have maxed now this is the only one i don't have maxed um really coming down to just gear right i don't have the gear to get through that i would love if i could get the gear to do it and maybe when i get Marin and i gear 12 her because i will i will invest in Marin once i get her to seven star um i'll try that and see what i can do but yeah you need Marin here otherwise you can get through some of the earlier tiers with just the uh, you know og night sisters but you need Marin if you want to do anything important in that assault battle so versus jedi finally then right like that you know sith one so you've got the sith you've got um you know like emperor palpatine i think you need malak to get through that uh vader works nicely and then you can use like the first order and i'm pretty sure a full first order team should be able to get to the end because if they remove turn meter from your kylos you'll just gain so much max health that it won't matter so um yeah i mean those are the, the you know the overarching teams and things you're going to be using in those different assault battles right inquisitors rebel roundup you got the ewok one versus the empire right separatists you know the like battle force users and then you know again like the actual like jedi one um for a total of seven assault battles so what i want to do here is finally show you the rewards and i'm just going to go to the like uh you know when we go here right if you go to the possible rewards and we'll start with your tiers one two and then the bonus tier they're normally like character shards some gear um there'll be like ship credits or regular credits in here the separatist one when you're battling the separatist you'll actually get mods out of this which is amazing 
You can get some, the newer Galactic Challenges definitely have a lot better rewards than some of the older ones. Like the Ewok Galactic Challenge does not really give you anything spectacular, but some of these newer ones actually do give you some decent rewards. And like, hey, Kit Fisto, if you, if you maybe drop in here for me, that would be nice. So those are your first three tiers. They're normally pretty easy, right? You can see like Tuscans, Inquisitors, five star right so here there's no requirements then it's five star and then it finally hits seven star at the bonus tier so not too too bad right so we'll go ahead see what we get oh we got kit fisto there we go it's gonna s come on buddy kit fisto again nope okay and no kit fisto again so we got some you know eh rewards the ship credit's probably the best part of that and then obviously some shard shop currency the mythic tier you can get omegas from that's fine, right? I think this is, I, as a later game player, I don't really need the Omegas here, but I'm sure early on this help, This would help a lot, right, to get additional Omegas just from doing this. So, I mean, we'll grab that, right? Not too, too hard to get here to the Mythic tier. All right, Challenge Tier 1. This is the first what I'll call Milestone Tier. When you can start doing Challenge Tier 1, that's your first Milestone Tier. That's the first time that you're really going to feel like you're getting some solid, solid rewards out of the assault battles right because you're getting some injector salvage which isn't like you know you're gonna get a lot of this because of these things but it is nice right you know you can't deny that it's not good to have those things then you're also gonna get chirotechs right 10 of each chirotech and remember i said there's seven assault battles so just think if you can get to challenge tier one every single month that is seven uh that is 70 total shock prods 70 total computers for a total of 140 now you're going to get this every single month so you multiply that over the course of a year two years three years you get the picture that it's a lot of stuff over a very long period of time so that's why i say that return on investment is years because eventually you're going to get a lot of stuff from these assault battles just it's not going to happen overnight you're not going to notice it for a very long time you'll also get some zeta materials here which that is really good. I will say, like, that is that is awesome to be able to get Zetas out of this. Um, seven of those, right? You know, it's not, you're not getting a full Zeta a month. But, again, over, you know, period of time, you're going to get a lot of Zetas out of this that you wouldn't have gotten otherwise. So, it's really nice. So, we'll do this challenge tier one here. And, again, those rewards are always the same, right? You notice in some of these other ones here, like, we got those rewards there. You notice in, like, this one it shows zero to 10, zero to 10, right? You know, you can get some of these rewards, right? It's not gonna give you every single one of these pieces. The challenge tier one, you will get every single one of these things. Now challenge tier two and challenge tier three. These both award the same exact things, just challenge tier three being much more difficult than challenge tier two. So uh, challenge tier two, you're gonna get three blue signal data, three green signal data, five white you're gonna get three electrum conductors five aroidium heat sinks 10 chromium transistors 10 bronzium wiring and 10 carbonite circuit boards which is then repeated for challenge tier three so in terms of what the amount of signal data other stuff you spent to unlock these challenges i mean you're looking at years truly looking at years like just for the sake of argument you're going to get what 72 of these over the course of a year if you do each of these tiers right that you get one of them a month 36 for each tier is 72 that's not even enough for a single relic seven so you're looking at over five years of playing this assault battle for inquisitors before you've earned back the blue signal data that you spent to get here for you know those characters i mean that's just that's a long time right that's a long long time uh, and you haven't even made up your greed or white by that point yet either. So, you know, take that for what it's worth. Because remember, you got to do that for every single Inquisitor in your roster. Um, so, yeah, you know, it's good rewards, but it's not something, you know, you think about that. That five-year example is a really good one that, you know, if you're spending a lot of resources, it's going to take you a very long time to end up actually coming out ahead with these assault battles. So, we'll finally sim these last two tiers, collect our rewards, Thank you so much. I will never do you again. I hate you so much, Challenge Tier 3. You are a cancer to this game. You are terrible. You are terrible. I hate you. Thank you for my rewards. So yeah, guys, 
that's just my overview on assault battles, kind of talking about the importance of them, some of the things you can do, the teams, and most importantly, I think just understanding that I would not recommend trying to rush to get to each of these things because of how long it's going to take you to actually make back those rewards. But it is something that, you know, you can think of as a bonus for being able to complete all, you know, being able to gear up all of those characters. So that's the end of this video. Like and subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.